Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel I'm here to talk about the Manchester United Fulham FA Cup tie. That was the quarterfinals, the final game that would see either of either team to play Brighton in the semi-finals. That was drawn before the United game. And this game was Fulham's. You know, we won 3-1. Um, we have this thing where half time. The first 45 minutes, we just don't know how to play football. We don't know how to put the ball in there. We don't know how to do X and Y. And genuinely, for 70 minutes, it was Fulham's game. It was 1-0. Willian ended up getting sent off for a penalty handball. Um, I don't think the shot was going to go in. Um, but obviously, it was blatant when he did. And obviously, for Mitrovic to get red carded for manhandling the ref, saying a bunch of shit... And obviously Silva, the manager, for saying some stuff as well. So to get the three red cards, for us to score the penalty, and then for Sabitzer to score shortly after, for it to be 2-1, it's nine men v 11, the mentality was lost. And i got to say, there was only two good players for Man United today. You No one, when it was 9 v 11, you could even class as playing well. You know, Anthony was decent when it was when it was 9 v 11. Um, Sancho, Fred brought brilliance to the pitch when he came on. Bruno was goal, but Bruno was terrible today. Sabitzer was mediocre, McTominay was meh, Maguire was meh, Shaw and Wamasaka were meh, David De Gea is the only reason we were kept in that game because of the saves he made. Martin has controlled that back line, but you can tell it's Varane who's the main centre-back. He's just, he is the reason, part of the Liverpool game, that's both Martinez and Varane, but you can tell Varane is the composed one, he's the one who keeps everything in line. Himself and Martinez are a beautiful partnership. Um, Rashford, absolutely shit. Vegos is stealing a living, as we keep talking about. Sancho's confidence and his ability to actually play at the moment is embarrassing. Um, but as I said, Anthony was decent. He was okay when he came on. He was still making simple errors. But again, he actually was better than Sancho. Um, Fred was good. Um, but yeah, the only reason we won this game is because of the red card situation. It... Stupid as it sounds, I think if Mitrovic had stayed on the pitch and we had scored the penalty, it would have gone to extra time. We probably would have won the game. We still would have won the game, I think. But I think at that 70 minutes, we had no chances worthy of winning. Fulham should have won 3 4 nil. Anyone that thinks Bruno, anyone that had a good game, is just lying to themselves, denial. Um, and it was simply won because of Fulham's stupidity. I feel sorry for the players that weren't involved <laughs> with the reactions. You know, Silver's an embarrassment after. Being one of the best managers this season, Mitrovic scoring his first goal in the FA Cup. Um, you know, it was credit to him for doing that. It was absolutely fantastic before he went off. Palina was fantastic, one of their best players. Probably the, he was the best player on the pitch. And there was no way United should have even won this. But because of the two red cards, three red cards, if you include the manager, because the mentality is lost when your manager's not on the sideline, there's just no way that you, Fulham, Fulham had a chance of winning this because, you know, Sibitz's goal was unfortunate, you know, it was very poor in my opinion, you know, great thinking from Sabitzer, but defensively for Fulham and Leno, it was just like, what are you doing? And then for Bruno to score an absolute beauty was fantastic, but other than that, there was too much hoofing, there was too much guessing ball, there was too much lack of connection and chemistry today, all the players were poor, uh, for most part, you know, the positioning was atrocious, they just were hoofing it, shots were poor, <clears throat> Rashford, Rashford is one of these players, he's brilliant at getting the goals, but when it comes to all the other stuff that makes you a good footballer, Rashford just doesn't have the capabilities to keep it up on a, on a regular basis. And it's why I don't compare him to Mbappe or Venetius or those types of players. Even Sakharou got two for Arsenal today. He, in many ways, is overrated in that sense, but he's a fantastic goal scorer. But the past couple of games, he has shown he is not up to the standards of many other players. And we need to get better with the forward players. Anthony Sancho, uh, Vercos and Rashford will be just mediocre at best. Uh, Anthony being the best of the four today, but it still doesn't say a lot when he can't take on his own players, but caused a lot of attacking threats. So it was exciting to see that. And it was one of his better games this season. Uh, so yeah, I look forward to the Brighton Man United game in April at some point. It's going to be a very tough game again because Brighton, again, are one of the best teams in the league. Wembley's going to be a tough place to go, but if we have been there this season, we'll have the better experience. After all, we did beat, win the Carabao Cup there. So it's going to be exciting, exciting to see what happens between that. Obviously, Casemiro, Eriksson and Varane should all be available for that game, pending nothing else happens between then and now and then. So, yeah, should be good. Overall, a poor performance from United, great performance from, from Fulham. But at the end of the, end of the day, United go through after bagging three goals as the confidence was risen. 
towards the end. But Ten Hag's managerial ability has been absolutely atrocious at times this season, but incredible as well. So he's been probably like 75, 25. He's made a lot of errors, but again, Fred should have come on a lot earlier. Pellistry probably should have came with Sancho, but Sancho gave the ball to Sean that put, that put the goal for Spitzer in. So it's always difficult because, again, Sancho was shy today. But again, I can't wait to see what happens going forward, especially now with Casemiro not being in the team for the rest of the Premier League games. And this was a game where we needed to win to get to the next round. Will the players have the same capabilities going into the next Premier League games to keep that top four race going on? So I guess I'll have to wait and see. But of course, subscribe and like as always. Let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on the Man United game. And I'll see you next one. Goodbye.